It is quiet on Capitol Hill today, a far cry from the dramatic scene that unfolded yesterday as police chased Miriam Carey from the White House to the U.S. Capitol. And we are learning more about the 34-year-old mother from Stamford, Connecticut. Glenda has more and will fill us in. Well, we saw the videos showing Miriam Carey ramming her car into barricades in multiple locations with her one-year-old daughter in the car. All this before police stopped her and shot and killed her. And today, authorities are still trying to figure out a motive. Miriam Carey's friends and family say they're shocked. They can't believe the 34-year-old mother was behind the wheel during this high-speed chase through Washington, D.C. yesterday. She had a wonderful life. But we're learning details that authorities believe may be a factor in yesterday's dramatic police pursuit that ended in Carey's death. Carrie's mother told ABC News that Miriam struggled since she gave birth to her daughter Erica last August. She had postpartum depression after having the baby. A few months later, she got sick. She was depressed. She was hospitalized. Just, you've been called out here. Correct. To her apartment. To her apartment. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. How many times? At least once. What? December. On December 10th, 2012, Carrie's then boyfriend, Erica's father, told Stanford police he was afraid for the baby's safety. Carrie said that President Obama had placed the Connecticut city under lockdown and placed her home under electronic surveillance. Twice in two weeks, she was taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. Initial reports at the time said she was on medication for an unknown mental illness and had a family history of schizophrenia. There's th something called postpartum psychosis where you lose connection, and that would be more likely. Now, Carrie's friends and family are struggling for answers. One of Carrie's childhood friends says he just saw her on Tuesday. Everything was okay, huh? A little joke. And she went about her business. It's just... Well, like all incidents where police use deadly force, there will be an internal investigation. But the one key question is whether Miriam Curie's vehicle was considered a weapon and a threat that needed to be contained. We will see. Joanne. You know, right now, investigators are reviewing writing is found in Carrie's Connecticut apartment. We've also learned she had been fired about a year ago from her job as at a periodontist office. The doctor would not say why she was fired, but said Carrie had been away from the job for a while after falling down the stairs and suffering a head injury. A few weeks after she returned to work, she was let go.